We are just across the Allegheny River from downtown Pittsburgh at rain-soaked Heinz Field in the Steel City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's into the hands of Gafford complete. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. Six man. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. there and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy right who can stand up and make a play it was only a three-yard run but for both sides they had to walk away from that field like okay i can stand up when the going gets tough in here now they'll switch it up here and look to throw that is caught inside the five and into the end zone touchdown pittsburgh chase claypool his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. And his kick is good, but flags come in. Looks like we're going to get a roughing call here on the final throw. Set to kick off. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now first and 10 at the 20. And finally, he goes out of bounds right at the 35-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run, 45 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. First carry for Nick Chubb. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing. 
Coming on second and eight. Mayfield quickly into the hands of Beckham. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Second down, Mayfield. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. And 13. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Play fake, Mayfield. And they will stop him short. Mayfield. They get him to the ground at the 27, no first down. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. It would appear Sean Payton's made the decision here. They will go for it on fourth. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. The Browns unable to move the chains on fourth down. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's got a rifle on deep left side. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside. And my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Three and a half to go, first quarter. Going to give this time to the tailback. And nowhere for him to go again. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. Call it no gain on the run there. And now they'll be looking at a third down. And 10. It looks like a nickel set now for the Browns on third down. He'll look to throw. He'll rifle this one deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, Parker, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Right back. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the Browns' 13-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now they try the right side here. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top 10. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway, because that's your strength. On the run, 
on. Here's Anthony McFarland, and he'll be brought down well short of the first at about the nine-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and it's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. Six yards the pick up and that's a first down. And that's a staple Browns of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. The tackle made at the 44-yard line. 10 yards on the pickup. It's second and it's still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. 10 nothing the score after one on EA Sports. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong, right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Second and inches. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield. And he completes it to Hunt. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers 19. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Able to get there and pick it. And a short return to the six-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. And he'll give it here to his running back. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Second and four. And this one complete to Gafford. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 
17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Back at the 27. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Rico Gafford, the intended target, but now it'll be third down. And just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 57. They'll set up a throw. He hits White, complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. the play fake he'll look to throw and he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete Rico Gafford the intended target and now it's second down they've given up a few first downs on this drive but getting the incompletion there that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide here now is second and ten again from the 41 Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And the Steelers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away, incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. The Browns drive about to get started. And they had a nice little drive going last time. Threw the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. And the Browns first down. From the gun, Mayfield gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. First down, Cleveland. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Landry again, the intended target, and it's second down. 
And again, it's Mayfield. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Well, that second down completion, something of a disaster, and now they're left with third and long. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They go play action, Mayfield. And bringing it in right side here, Beckham. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. So on fourth down, out comes the Browns kicker, Austin Seibert. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. And his kick is good. Oh, he just did tuck it into the bottom of that left corner. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny, when we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, picked up by Denzel Ward. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. It's almost like you can see the look of frustration on his face. Four interceptions last week. We talked about it all week. What did he do wrong? And another one here in the first half. And you can understand the frustration. You actually feel his pain a little bit. But the worst thing he can do is what you're seeing right now, showing the other team that he's frustrated. All they're going to do is double their efforts to make him even more frustrated. He's got to gather himself, compose himself, and keep fighting. Well, he talked a lot about erasing that loss last week, getting back in the win column. We'll see how he responds. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nick Chubb. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Left side, it's Beckham. Mayfield. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Here's Mayfield on the left side. This is Stills. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll it's stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing, Mayfield, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone, and nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him, unfortunately, to no avail. 
Mayfield on play action. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. And the Steelers Shut pressure down. too much here. He's going to go down. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with... Seventeen seconds to go in this first half of action. They failed once in this spot earlier, but the offense will stay out to go for it on fourth down. And they're out of timeouts, remember, so this is going to have to be a delay. And that'll set them back five. Thomas Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Now this is going to carry this well into the end zone the for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Set to kick off. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Now this will make it into the end zone. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Browns drive about to get started. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 12 yards there and a first down. A run for Nick Chubb. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it 
and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down, it's Hunt. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 43-yard line. To throw, Mayfield. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 30, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. On first down, they'll start with McFarland. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move him off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Steelers send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Ridiculous with words that you force to make I don't want to seem absurd, but that boy's a gangster. Focusing on me, is on Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle, back is Tel The Browns drive about to get started. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. And turn the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. They run it again with Chubb, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. On third down, Mayfield. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Here's second and eight. 
That's into the hands of Gafford complete. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or? Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And he will finally be taken out of bounds. A big play on third there for the Steelers. 42 yards. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Right at the line. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the 14-yard line. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. And he's in for six and a Steeler touchdown. Rico Gafford with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. So the touchdown there, and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver is at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, he's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. But if you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. And no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. Grant on the return. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The putter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Mayfield to throw it. This is the tight end, Njoku. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. 11 yards there, first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. Mayfield finding Beckham. A gain of six there on first. And now he's really knocking on the door for 700. That is career catch 6-9-9. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield, he's got Njoku, his big tight end. 16 yards, a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance, not with him. We've seen it too many times. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Mayfield with it once more. Looking left side, he's got it complete. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. A gain of four. 
It's now second and six. Running with Hunt here out of the shotgun. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down where they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. The Browns on third down. Just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Buying time to his And Mayfield again with the interception. His third. Picked off near this the 44. This is too easy right here. Too easy. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. The kicker on for the point after. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them to the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And they were ultra confident coming in, that's for sure. They had won seven straight, but number eight not looking to be in the cards. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Jared Davis in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. But following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield going deep here for Stills. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. The Browns on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This is going to be third and 13. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Fourth down, Mayfield. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. And that interception sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find the spot. And now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. There he goes, right side. 30. 10, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Austin this game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell and just run the football? I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protecting the football because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they just get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25.
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And the pick six we just saw makes things a little more interesting. Still, though, a two-possession game as they control their destiny in this fourth quarter. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Randy, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. A quick throw complete into the flat out left. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Ten more there and another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this one complete to Gafford. That catch good for only a couple. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. It's a first down on a game of 10. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. Now, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. It's a gain of 34. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. And his kick is right through. It's the score. Steelers 31. Browns 10. Gay is set to kick off. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. This is Jakeem Grant. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And that unbeaten record very much in jeopardy. It's been a great first few months of the season so far, but they have run into a buzzsaw. And got his man complete. Past the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Odell Beckham. 
Odell Beckham, 77 yards. And the Browns make some inroads here on that deficit. You gotta understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three-score lead. Now it's down to two, but three-score lead here late. But they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. fake they'll look to throw under a heavy rush and down he goes the quarterback man he got in there so quickly charles what could the offense have done to adjust and account for that but what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you and you change the blocking schemes maybe you go to max protection the biggest ones maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean but in that case that didn't happen zero accountability and a sack resulted Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Completion here to Claypool. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary, figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. A gain of six there on first. Line number 10. A six-yard pickup brings up second. So second and four from the 22. 22-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Rico Gafford. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the fumble recovery leads to six points for the Steelers. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 38. Browns 17. Touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Now this will make it into the end zone. And yeah, this will be a touchback as Grant opts not to return it. At their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, Mayfield. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Landry, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Second and 10. They go play action. Mayfield. He's going to let it fly. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Mika Fitzpatrick. Mayfield's pass intercepted. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. 
But, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Greedy Williams picks it off. And that will write a finish to this ballgame.